town was destroyed, but it will be okay. The incident took place adjacent to my farm on a public road. The, the boys, there were two of them, that they were caught um, uh, stealing sunflower. They, were, um, they had sunflower with them in their possession. And um, these two guys drove with a bucky and they instructed the boys to come over and to get onto the bucky to be taken to the police. So the one ran off and the other boy um, he stopped and he walked over and then um, he, was, uh, he, he was told to get onto the back of a bucky. He got onto the back of a bucky himself. Nobody, nobody threw, threw him onto the bucky. Nobody touched him at all. So then when they slowed down, he jumped off the bucky and he was injured. They attacked us, if you could see here, if you could see here, you see, you see, they, they almost broke my rib, you see, so, but now it's fine. It's a big loss, it's a big loss for Colleen. We shall rise again, we shall Thank rise you. again. Hi, all shop is empty, last one is 200,000 is it's, it's gone. I just feel that the police failed to protect the people of Kulini. We was forced with allemaal by elkaar staan om elkaar te help. Well, we, we're very, we're very heartbroken because it's it's not only our shop, but it's the whole town that's destroyed. They destroyed virtually the whole town. And will you be opening up? No, no, we we're calling it quits. We're calling it quits. We're going to we we will we will repair the damage and then we will rent out the building and then we will uh, no we we're stopping it business. We're not getting on with our business now. Me, my son and the husband only got the clothes that we got. No card, no IDs, nothing. Some of my pets died inside. Uh, one of them is a little dog. I got her 14 years. She was like a little daughter of mine. She eat everything what I eat. She drinks everything that I drink. She sleeps on my bed. And now I got nothing. <laughs>